Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Rex here. And before this Lance guy starts, I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy me vibing to Miami Dome. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Rexy here with finally a Lance guide for you guys. I'm going to be releasing some tips and tricks that I have when I play Lance. Now, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Tell me, you know, if you're going to pick up Lance, if you play Lance, tell me anything down in the comments down below. Now, let's get started with today's video. So, my first tip for Lance is knowing the true combos. Now... You guys might not know this, you might know it, but I'm going to go for it and it's very important you guys know these combos as these are what you should rely on when you're playing Lance. So, firstly, you have Side Light Dare, which looks like, wait, let me put the true combo in, indicator on. You got Side Light Dare, that looks like this. Firstly, you have Side Light Dare, that looks like this. And you want to be hitting this true like pretty much every time. And... Getting this true means that you can consecutively follow it up after you hit this. So it's side light and then dare really fast. Now you want to just practice this in training mode or you'll do something like that in game, which can cost you, you know, a hit. So you want to always get it right. You got to be holding forward while you're doing it to always consecutively hit it. And that's my first tip. Just learn the combos. Side light dare. You've also got side light nair. Now this is another one of your consecutive combos. And you need to learn this off by heart. You need to basically be doing it off reaction. You can do this on any damage pretty much. And yeah. Now you just want to make sure you get it true every single time. If you don't get it true, it will tell you. For example, I'm going to whiff right now. Three dodge frames. You don't want that purple writing. You just want to hit this without the writing. And this without the writing. Now, this is kind of a beginner's guide. However, I can go into more advanced details throughout the video, so make sure you go through the video if you want a bit more, like a few more tips that you might not even know. Um, but yeah, first tip, learn the combos consecutively. Make sure you get both of them true each time. And there are other combos like this. Wait, like, obviously that, but that's four dodge frames. You don't want to be going for non-viable things. Like that, there are two dodge frames, I think you can get it to one. Yeah, one, you don't really want to be going for stuff like that. But if you're in plat gold, you know, I do suggest trying it. So like stuff like this. It does work on white. Uh, I don't suggest it, but you know, it works. You know, even doing this, even doing that works in gold. But it's not true. So you want to be working to, you know, be more optimal when you're playing. And that can get you higher with using Lance. Now, the second tip is learning the follow-ups after the true combos. So, something that I like to do is on white or yellowish, side like dare and then see what they do after. So, for example, say our bot dodges in or your opponent dodges in a lot. I'm going to show you a dodge in read after side like dare. In a second. There is a dodge in read. Now, you just want to notice where your opponent dodges after that combo because you can stack up a lot of damage very fast. Now, if your opponent jumps up, for example, 
after this. You can just keep doing this. And there you go. That's quite a simple read. However, if your opponent jumps up and then jumps down, you can obviously hit the jump up read. And then the best thing to do after that is chase dodge forwards and dare, which I'm going to show to you in a minute. And as you can see, mid combo, once you hit the second set, you have to chase dodge right here by spamming your shift. And it gives you a little bit of momentum to then dare after and catch them up. And you can sear off there or you can go for another jump read. But yeah, all I'm trying to say is learn your follow-ups. So say if I nair, I know he's going to jump up so you can keep nairing. Uh, you can also do that. This is, a, this is a dodge up read. You know, you just need to learn the follow-ups. And as soon as you start learning how to follow up, you can kind of mix it up. Which is the great thing about Lance. So like even this. Which I missed, but you know, you can mix it up. It's quite easy. Let me try and get this true here. I don't highly suggest going for this. Because it is pretty dumb. And I've never hit an old dare combo. Wait, that is actually really sick. Let me try and get this. Hey, it worked. Let's go. So another tip I have on Lance is to, you know, work out the spacing between each move. Now, what I like to do and what I mean by that is by, you'll see Karsuk doing a lot on his old VODs. But dash dancing is a really good way to space your opponent. Now, I am a level 100, so I promise I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not just a Karsuk's wannabe. But um, pretty much what I mean by this is if you see an opening on your opponent, you can just end like, like that. And end light can lead to more combos. You know what I mean? If you get a read. So if I know he's going to jump up after end light, I can do that. 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 You know? End light can also follow up into many combos. So going for end lights and white is very good. Like dashing like this. End light in. If you learn how to do it, it becomes really effective. Now, another little tip I have. Now, I don't suggest this that much because obviously... There's a reason that I'm not pro, but it works a lot up to like mid diamond. Is when you miss your end light, say for example, let me do it here. If I miss my end light, it's actually pretty hard to miss because I'm used to hitting it. But if I miss, down light and after is a really good way to bait your opponent. So if I miss right here, your opponent is most likely going to try and punish your end light, your whiffed end light. So throwing out a down light is the perfect thing to do. It's perfect. So I can't really give you an example. If I miss an end light, your opponent's clearly going to come and attack you after you've end lighted, right? So what you want to do is down light after, and as soon as you hit a down light, you can then go into what you can then go into a read. It's all read based. So look, you know. So it's just getting that initial starting like combo, and honestly, you can combo anyone as long as you have a little idea of what they do and how they react. Now, another tip I have with Lance, and I think M for Mini's gone over this, but it's a really good tip, and I can't not, like, tell you about this, is after doing a dare, you can also go for another dare, which works really, really well, especially to catch dodges. Now, for example, say if they jump up, double dare will catch that jump up, but it will also catch a dodge out. Which is really, really viable because, you know, dodge up and dodge out are two very, very common dodges. Now, double dare can also be used really optimally by doing it the other way in the other direction as well. Now, I don't tend to do this a lot, but it's good to switch up. Uh, wait, let me, let me get him to dodge up. As you can see here, changing your dodge can actually make you pretty unpredictable. Or changing the way you react to a dodge. So, right here. You know, that still catches a knob. However, I can also do something like this. You know, I can change it. Or I could also do that. You know, it's all about changing how you approach a dodge read. Now, I know a lot of top tier players might be watching this and being like, Oh, Rexy, why are you telling me this? I might know how to counter you now. Or I know how to counter you now. Now, the thing is, I've played Lance for 4,000 hours. And it's very sad to say this, but... It's really hard to play against it. Like, I wouldn't like to play against myself purely because of how good this weapon is, even when it's nerfed. Like, the weapon's just got so much potential. And 
I'm going to prove to you all one day that this weapon can be used at a top level in EU. Because there's not a lot of people that have shown it. I know M for Mini has. Introvert Taher has. Or Taher. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and Yami has also done that. And Vaped. They've all shown. There's probably a few more. Um, but they've all shown that, you know, Lance is really, really good at top level. Now, another really good thing is utilizing the SIGs. Um, this isn't specifically Roland in general, but just use the, utilizing the SIGs for reads. So, for example, my I know on Roland that if I start let Darien dodges out, that does a lot of damage. Now, this will kill. I know that this would probably kill a 90. However, I can't side like dare on 90. But if I dead... Wait, let me just do that right again. If I dead and I know he's going to dodge out, that kills early, you know? So it's all about getting the little reads on your opponents to get a really early kill. Now, I don't know when that actually kills. Wait, that kills quite early, I'm pretty sure. Kills on 90. But yeah, like Scarlet Downsig, you can catch a dodge in. And you can also catch a dodge out if you dash forward. Um, learn the SIGs. Like, it's really, really important to learn, like, your SIG follow-up. So, I know that if my my opponent dodges up, for example, out of this, I can do that. And, you know, that's pretty good. Um, if I sideline and they dodge up, well, I have to do that a lot faster. Um, if I sideline and they dodge up, can also do something like this. Might not be as viable, but it works. If, you know, they dodge left. I think if I sideline, they dodge left. Oh, that doesn't work. That works. Um, that also kind of works. Let me see it there. That also catches in, which is kind of crazy. What I'm trying to say is, learn the follow-ups with SIGs. It will help you so much. Um... Side sig on Roland, I don't suggest using it, but it could be good to game off stage. I don't really know. But other legends like Scarlet, catch dodge in, if I show you right now. See, that catches in. And it can also catch out as well, I'm pretty sure. Let me just see. So just learn it. Because st stuff like this can win you games, trust me. Stuff like this can win you games. You know? Now, one of my last and most important tips with Lance is to learn the little tech that comes with Lance. So, for example, one of the main things I like to do off stage, and I don't really tend to hear it that much, but it does work, is if you connect your dare off stage, you can do a little cancel like that. Like this. Now, some of you may not know this, but... You know, it can be an easy gimp, really fast. And if they're coming back to stage, it's an easy gimp, you know? So yeah, incorporate that in your gameplay. If you see him coming back, do a Sarah off the wall. And you might want to practice this in training. But this will really help you, I'm telling you guys. I've won so many games by just doing this. You want to become fluent, like, so to the point where you're literally just doing it every time. Another thing is utilizing your recovery. Now, you have three recoveries without jumping. As you can see. Now, if you waste one recovery, this can also really surprise your opponent like this. It's like a... You see what I mean? Now, if you use your recovery and do a side light, let me just show you in a minute. You can actually connect that. Let me just try and do that. It's not, I don't suggest doing this. But, you know, who knows? You might be coming back to stage, and this may be extremely useful if they think they can ground pound you. So, yeah. For, just remember how many you've got before you jump. Now, you get free if you don't jump. But, you know, I always tend to use them if I'm coming back to stage. Um, don't ask what just happened there. But yeah, I always tend to use my recoveries when I'm coming back to stage as, you know, it's a really fast, jolting move. I can pretty much surprise anyone. You know? Now, another thing that a lot of Lance players do that need to do more is abuse Nair. Like, this move right here is the best move on Lance. And now it's probably not. 
But it's one of the best moves on lands. Like, this move can literally decide how your game's going to go if you keep hitting it. I kid you not. If you get any little read, you can nerf for years. And it's literally just broken. And look, 16 damage, 32. It's just, it's just insanely good. It's just insanely good. So I recommend, in gold especially, learn to fast fall. So like stuff like this, where you go really fast on the floor like this. Learn to fast fall there. I promise you, it's an amazing approach. It will come in extremely handy. And the move will just do your wonders, especially as a lance main. Even as sword mains though, like you can do stuff like this, but... Learning fast fall options is the best way to go in Brawlhalla. Now, before I go, I just want to say that if you guys don't believe any of these work, uh, I am a 2100 Scarlet main. I am a level 100 Roland main. Um, trust me, guys. This stuff is really good. And I promise you, if you revise all the tips I've given you, uh, practice your combos in training mode every single day. Do it like, do like 100 of each true combo. Side like there, side like there. Learn the follow-ups. And I promise you guys, you'll be diamond in no time. Now, comment down below what Lance main you do main. I do want to see some Lance mains in my comments. I would love to build a, a following of just Lance mains. That would, that would be honestly so sick. Um, but yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, drop a subscribe right now if you got to this part of the video. You know, I'm nearly on 500 subscriptions. Um, but yeah, guys. Thank you so much. It's been a blast. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.